Hey, what is up guys? It is a brand new day today out here in New York City. What is happening guys? Hope you guys are having a great fantastic day. Yo, yo, yo. So today it's going to be a little special video because see this person in the mirror right there? We can see you. Come yourself. Come. <laughs> come over here, Chamo. No. Chamo. <laughs> guys, today Fia actually made her own first video by herself and I wanted to share it with you guys on this channel and she did basically like a story time video and it's a really funny story about a time her friends thought she was gay <laughs> why are you laughing that's so offensive <laughs> well it's just funny to me but yo that's what basically today's most of today's vlogs gonna be about but also i have a confession that i want to make man like if you guys didn't watch that live stream i did me and adam did a huge live stream on his channel and it was like uh we did it for like an hour and a half and he kept making i had a confession that i was i was thinking about saying but in the last minute, I didn't feel like saying it. But and then everybody keeps asking me now, like, yo, Slim, what's your confession? What's your confession? Like, my whole Twitter was blowing up. Everybody asking me. Even Adam, he keeps asking me and texting me, yo, what's your confession? So, you know what? In this video today, this Sophia's little story time, I'm going to tell you guys what the confession is. So, anything you want to say before we get in the video? Um... Smash the like button. Smash the like button for Sophia. If you guys want more videos from Sophia, down below, show some love and joy. This is my very first video that I'm making on Slim's channel. I wanted to do a story time video and I wanted to tell you guys a funny story. This story is very awkward for me to tell but it's funny and I just feel like talking about it. This story is about the time my friends, my best friends in high school, made the assumption that I was into girls, that I was a lesbian. <laughs> it's so funny but anyways. So back in high school, I was the new girl at the school. Um, it was my sophomore year, I was a new girl. I just got kicked out of my last high school. Um, that's a whole different story. I was pretty lucky because I, my best friend from middle school was going to that high school. So I kind of went to that school and I already had like an established group of friends. They didn't really know me that well. Um, they were really cool. Like I had a really good time at the school. I was really happy that I went to the school. Um, I made a lot of friends. Of course, I feel like the people that I hung out with, they didn't really know me that well. I was a new girl at the school and I remember my friends telling me, that um oh be careful you're the new girl at this school so i'm sure that a lot of guys are going to start trying to hit on you and i didn't really think anything of it i was like okay whatever until it started happening and i just remember i really didn't care i i also want to mention that i am muslim so casually dating and talking to guys is something that we just do not do i always grew up kind of with that mentality that if i'm going to talk to somebody or if i'm going to be in a relationship with somebody it's somebody that i see a future with i'm not just going to date around or do anything like that that's not me um and i feel like i've talked to my friends about it but i'm like i said i i went to the school and I was kind of the only Muslim girl that went to the school so not really my friends didn't really I don't know I'm not saying that they were wrong for not understanding that I just don't date like that but they they kind of you know they didn't really understand it and I'm not trying to say this as in like oh my god so many guys were trying to hit on me that's not true not a lot of guys <laughs> hit on me but I'm just saying there was a few you know there was a few guys that saw like hey she's a new girl I mean they were probably trying to talk to me because they probably had a bad reputation and I didn't know who they were so they probably thought like okay I'm gonna talk to this girl I'm gonna try to talk to this girl and see what she thinks of me there was just a lot of that going on and I just just always just and mind you guys even to this day like I'm a very awkward person I do not like I don't know I, I did not like talking to guys I didn't enjoy it I thought it was weird whenever someone tried to talk to me so I would tell my friends I would tell them like oh so-and-so tried to to talk to me and my friends they would be like oh my god he's so cute like and I'd be like okay so then you go talk to him like I'm just not into it so that was kind of just the attitude that I had throughout high school and talk to guys didn't feel comfortable talking to guys and I did not date I remember telling my friends that 
one day um, on Facebook, this guy hits me up, this guy that went to school with us. And he was actually the only other Muslim guy that went to the school. And my friends considered him very attractive. Um, they, I remember he finds me on Facebook. Mind you, we go to the same school. He <laughs> had no courage to talk to me in person, but he hits me up on Facebook and he tries talking to me. I just remember thinking like, okay, he's Muslim, like he's, he seems like a good person, whatever. And I told my friends about this, that um, he tried talking to me on Facebook. And I just remember telling them that, and I just remember telling them about how I just thought he was really boring. <laughs> and I thought he was, I mean, mind you, I don't think I'm the most exciting person either, but it, me personally, I want, I always wanted to see myself with somebody who is like, more out there who wasn't scared to talk to me you know i just thought the whole hitting you up on facebook instead of in person was really weird and i remember telling my friends that like i don't want to talk to him or give him the time of day because first off i don't know him i don't have the interest in getting to know him and he's just I don't know like it's just it's so lame to hit someone up on Facebook instead of talking to them in person like I kid you not because I've told them that if I'm gonna be with somebody it's gonna be somebody that's Muslim when they knew that he was Muslim and that I wasn't into him they kind of just took it as like okay what's wrong with this girl something is wrong with her I remember and at this time I had just made a a Facebook, a brand new Facebook. So I don't know if you guys remember, but back in the day on Facebook, you had the option of like having a bio with all of your information. Like you would put down like whatever you wanted to say about yourself, uh, male or female, or you or you can also state um, your sexual orientation. I had just made this Facebook, mind you, and I added all my friends and I had no information listed on my in my bio. I, so I had nothing in my bio and under sexual orientation, it was blank. <laughs> so um, my friends saw this and thinking that because I didn't want to go out with any guys, talk to any guys, I never had the desire to talk to any guys, I never talked about because under my sexual orientation, I left it blank. They made the assumption that I do not like boys, <laughs> like I'm just not into boys. And I know the way I'm talking, it probably seems like I'm not into boys, but that's not true. Like, so one day they hit me up they don't even tell me they don't even confront me in person they have all my friends in a group chat and i feel so embarrassed i feel like they've been talking about this for a long time because they confront me in a group chat like all of my friends and they're like hey sophia we need to talk and i'm in class reading this and i'm kind of just like what the hell like i just saw you guys earlier uh, during break and you guys need to talk to me. Okay, whatever what and then I'm typing back like what's up? And I'm very lucky to have friends that are so supportive because they were like, oh, you know Don't think that we're here to judge you. You know, we love you No matter what, you know, and I'm just like what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> yeah, I just remember they saying that like no matter what we don't judge you whether you like boys Whether you like girls or both and yada 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 <laughs> And I kid you not, I was so freaking mad when they made this assumption about me. I was like, wait, you guys think that I'm into girls? Like, are you fucking serious? Um, not that, like, I don't judge, like, I don't care, but like, it was just the weirdest. I just got so mad. Like, I get mad when people make assumptions about me, and that's a weird assumption to make about me. <laughs> like, I never gave them the idea that I was into girls, just the idea that I wasn't interested in dating. That, And they took that like, I don't like guys at all, but that was not true. So I'm super mad that they made this assumption about me. It, it was just... It was so disturbing and I told them I was like yo you guys are tripping like you guys have no reason to think that and they're like well it's because you 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 know like so and so tried talking to you and they're really good looking you could have had like a really good relationship with them like they're so much like you and I'm just like what 
what? Like, come on, man. Like, I'm freaking like 16, 17 year olds old. Like, I'm not ready for any of that kind of shit. Yeah, and then I remember after they had messaged me that it's so awkward like they messaged me during class knowing that they were gonna see me the next period because i had well we had lunch after that we had our own table during lunch where we always met up and sat and i didn't even meet them up like i was like this is too awkward i'm low-key very mad that they made this weird ass assumption about me so i'm not gonna chill with them for today yeah i didn't see them for the rest of the day and then the next day i saw them and i you guys were tripping for what you were saying yesterday like it's so not true and they were just like sorry it's just that you 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 never like want to talk to anyone and yeah I don't know clearly i'm not into chicks um just it's just the way that i grew up anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that story it's kind of funny um if you did please give me a thumbs up thumbs up i like type like these kinds of videos or like just me talking to the camera please let me know i i would love to make more videos i i think this was actually really fun Alright guys, so I think it's time for me to tell you guys my big confession. Alright, all right, man, I'm not going to tell it to you guys. I have to tell it to Adam because, you know, it's between me and Adam. So, here it goes. I'm going to FaceTime him right now. Uh, since he's been asking me so much and you guys have been hassling me on Twitter and Instagram and everything. So, why not? Yo, what's poppin'? Yo, what is happening? What's goody, cuz? What's happening, bro? Alright, so, man. So today, yesterday on Twitter, I actually tweeted, I was like, yo, man, I'm going to tell everybody my confession tomorrow. And tomorrow is today. So today is that tomorrow. So it, it ain't, it's not going to be weird unless I tell it to you. You know what I'm saying? Because the confession is between us, you know? So I got to tell it to you. Yeah, I'm finally, I'm finally going to say it, bro. I'm finally gonna no say way. Say what like you said. I'm going to say it. I have to, bro. Might as well, you know? Cause say it right now? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it to you. Yeah, I'm recording right now, literally. So oh, man, I feel weird. You, it's Because it, I don't know, man. I'll, tell me what is it? All right, here it goes. My confession item yeah. is I recorded the diss track on you, bro. What? <laughs> you recorded a diss track on me? Yeah, well, basically, uh, I was actually going to, uh, I was like in the studio a couple weeks ago, and I was actually planning on dro dropping a diss track on someone, right? But it was supposed to be, supposed to be my, like, my brother. Uh, it was supposed to be my brothers. So I was going to drop a diss track on my brothers. Yeah. But... That day when you got me tight, I ended up going to the studio and I recorded a whole oh diss track on you. But you know, I was not gonna, I ended up not gonna, I was not gonna put it out. I'm not gonna put it out there. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna put it out there, but it's just funny. Just <laughs> I made a whole, I literally made a whole diss track on you. So are, are you gonna release it or no? Like, did you do it? Like, like what do you mean made a whole diss track? Like, did you write it? Did you do it? Yeah, I recorded it. It's already done. <laughs> I recorded yeah, everything. So you did a diss track on me? Yeah, literally, I recorded a whole diss track and then like. My friend like literally hooked, fixed what? everything up and shit. Alright, I guess I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say don't post it. I'm gonna say Go ahead, do you like you're the only person that is allowed to do a diss track on me, you know, like just you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what? I mean anyone else could, I don't care. But like you're the only one that's valid because I'm gonna fight back, Slim. Oh I'm gonna fight back. But, oh I, I don't think I'm gonna just stare at, I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't think I'm gonna just stare at you, bro. Oh word? I'm gonna see if I'm gonna release it though. I don't know if I'm gonna release it. I don't. I no, haven't. Release it. Release it. I wanna hear it. Oh, release you sure? You sure, bro? Release it. Go ahead. Release it. Release I don't wanna it. hurt any feelings, man. You know. Let's go. Release it. Everyone oh. Who's watching right now. Are you recording this or not? Yeah, I'm recording this. Alright, everyone who's watching. Slim, release it. Let's go. Oh. Release it. Oh, alright. I wanna hear it. Now I wanna hear it. Now you got me tough up. Alright. Release that shit, and I'll see. And I'll see what's up. Alright. Alright, no doubt, no doubt. I, mean, I respect. Oh, he hung up my face and it's looking little finger. I don't know, man. We gotta think, though. Should I release it? I don't know if I should. <laughs> I don't know, man. But, anyways, guys, that's the confession. Basically, I literally recorded a whole diss track on Adam. But it's not a, it's not a long diss track. It's just like. It's a short diss track I made on Adam. It's kind of mean, but I don't know if I should release it. He's telling me to release it now and it's kind of tempting me to want to release it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe for daily videos. I'm going to wrap this up here. See you guys tomorrow with another daily slimmy vlog. And the uh, slimification is outcha.